G'day ladies and germs, Connor here from C-Dubs Media, back with another video. And today we're doing my review of the Canon R6 Mark II. So I just spent 10 days overseas with this camera doing street photography for the whole time and absolutely loved it. Not only the holiday, but using the camera. So for the majority of my trip, I was just using the Canon RF 35mm f1.8. Bit of a cheaper lens, still not that cheap. Like see here it's 800 bucks. I don't know what it is in your country, but 800 here. But just for the image quality and the video capabilities, like I'm always taking little short videos and photos whenever I'm doing street photography. It's never just photography. I'm not like a film uh, photographer where I'm just taking photo here, photo there. I'm running and gunning video and photo at all times. And 35 millimeter is a ball terror of a focal length for that sort of work. And, and here you can see, now I, I sort of split up my trip into four sort of segments by accident in terms of my photography. So I did transport, so all the vehicles and everything that I took photos of, it just seemed to be an exciting place to take photos of weird and wacky vehicles that are somehow roadworthy, but get the job done. And here's a little bit of a trip through that. Lots of cool looking motorbikes and lots of cool looking little jeepneys along with the usual buses, planes, trains, and automobiles. I was just having a ball. I was in my element, just taking photos of the transport. But one thing I did find when I was doing this, obviously I was mixing it up with all the other types of photography, was that at first I was intimidated by this new country and doing photography and not sure how other people would react to me sticking the camera in their face. So it took a little bit of adjusting. But after a couple of days, I had my mojo and I was getting used to putting this camera in front of people and taking photos. And I found that the people were absolutely amazing. Always happy to smile for the camera and it didn't seem to matter. And if there's times where I felt a little bit uncomfortable, I just point to the camera and say, hey, mind if I take your photo? And 99% of the time, I met zero resistance. If anything, I had people approaching me asking if they can have their photo taken by me. And then I would just give them my Instagram page and send it to them at a later date. So that was really cool and I really enjoyed that. There's a lot of bright colors and I found for the photography point of it, shooting on the R6, the autofocus is so good. But when I was shooting people, I might be focusing on a certain person, but the camera would automatically jump to someone who's closer or someone that the camera thinks I was trying to focus on. So I did find that I actually, even though I have like the best autofocus on the market, Debatable, but that's my opinion. But I found that I was using manual focus, especially when I was in the nitty gritty of the streets, taking photos of people. I just didn't have time to fuck around with the settings, trying to take, you know, trying to adjust the nozzle. I just had it in F7.1, which gave me a, a sort of wide depth of field to be able to shoot in, to get people in focus. And I wasn't, like I'm not going for pinpoint accuracy here. I was just trying to catch the mood of a certain situation or the general feel uh, and the relationship with the person I was taking the photo of. So that was a really good learning curve for me and I think I'll probably stick to that when I'm doing street photography. It's just, you don't have to worry about who's your camera is gonna focus on. So F7.1 
was where I had my settings. Now I did also take advantage of the custom video modes and the custom photo modes. So one click and I would go from what I call street photography mode or C1 to what I call landscape mode and that's C2. And I would just one click of the button and I could take some photos of landscapes without having to readjust everything. And then back to street photography, bang, click it back to C2 and everything was sweet. I really do like taking advantage of that. And just having it as just one click away is awesome. Then also for video mode as well. So I could be filming the street in 4K, 25 frames per second, one click, and I'm up to 150 frames per second slow-mo in 1080p. And what I have is it set to round about the most common situation I'm gonna be in. So, you know, for that street photography, my shutter's at 400, my f-stop 7.1, and my ISO is around 1250. And that gives me a good sort of all-round starting point. So that was my experience shooting people. Everyone was really friendly. The camera performed really, really well. I mean, you also get that 40 frames per second in burst mode. Then moving into the other modes of landscape, and there was just so many beautiful sunsets. It seemed like every time the sun went down, there was a beautiful sunset. Image stabilization in real world just gave me the ability to walk around and not have to set up a tripod and just sit there with a tripod on and a you know a shutter button. Handheld, wide angle, beautiful landscape photography of the Canon R6 Mark II. And I could really bring my shutter right down, and I'm talking to like one-fifth of a second, and get it handheld and still get a nice sharp image. The technology in these cameras is ball terror. So the Canon R6 Mark II is an expensive camera, but it gave me the options and the ability to shoot freely and to get some really good quality images. And yes, I could just walk around with my phone taking snapshots, but I find that overall the quality is much better with the camera. Now the battery life for me was awesome as well. I mean, I was using this for like up to 12 hours at a time and I would go through no more than two batteries in any one setting quite often just one battery, but if it's a 12 hour day and I'm just going non-stop, I was using two batteries. And that was just like walking the city streets just for hours, taking photos, and I'd stop for lunch, maybe do something else, bit of shopping, then back to the camera, video and photo. And as you can see, indoors and outdoors, it performed really well. The low light capabilities in ISO, high ISO, is really good as well for video and photo. I just had so much fun walking around the streets taking photos. The architecture, it, you know, wide angle was wide enough on this 35 millimeter lens. 
I did have the 24 to 70, but that was a lot bigger. And you know what? It spent most of its time in the hotel room, locked away in the safe. And this was all I was taking with me most of the time. It was just nice and easy setup. It also gave me the option to shoot some macro if I wanted to. I was doing a little bit of that with some flower photography, but it was nothing outstanding, but still fun. And I was enjoying doing it. So whether it's people, places, architecture, transport, it just meet, hits the mark in many ways. Overall, from a photography point of view, the Canon R6 Mark II is, for me, is, a, is an overperformer. And it's often overshone, you know, by the X100, by Fuji, and, you know, Fuji are well known for their street photography cameras, and everyone loves them because of the look and feel. Leica is always up there, you know, you get everyone walking around with these $10,000 cameras and Leica, 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 whatever, we get it, they're amazing. But the Canon R6 Mark II holds its own and is definitely up there for me in terms of just photography or the hybrid camera of photography and video. And I certainly love my time using it. Now I'm shooting in here on the Canon R6 Mark I and my go-to for run and gun is the R6 Mark II. Backup cameras as well for if I'm doing a bit of a commercial shoot. Now I'm gonna do more videos on the Canon R6 Mark II, just my experiences with it and how I get the most out of it. So if you do wanna subscribe, that'd be really cool. I'm not really anymore into playing the whole fucking YouTube game of you know, doing videos for likes and views and that sort of shit. I'm just gonna do them if I like them and I'll post them on YouTube if I like the videos. Thank you very much for watching this. If you have any questions about the R6 Mark II, definitely hit me up in the comments down below. I'll help out where I can. Trolls will be blocked. Maybe I'll play with the trolls a little bit before I block them. That seems to be more fun for me. Thank you all for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Check out.